The supplies needed to start an IV include antiseptic solution, an IV plug, extension tubing or IV fluid tubing, the IV catheter itself, a tourniquet, tape, a transparent dressing, and a drape or towel to protect the underlying surfaces. The antiseptic solution, determined by the institution, is used to clean the skin before the procedure. Using a firm, circular motion from the selected insertion site outward is the proper skin preparation technique. An IV plug can be used to close the system after the catheter is in place by securing it to the end of the catheter. Extension tubing may be desired and should be flushed prior to securing it into the catheter after placement. IV tubing flushed with the proper IV solution may be directly secured into the catheter. All caps should be loosened prior to catheter insertion. IV catheters come in a variety of gauges. Selection of the proper catheter depends on the age and size of the client, the solution or medication to be infused, and the insertion site. For example, a blood infusion will need a larger bore catheter since blood is so viscous and hemolysis can occur if it is infused through a catheter that is too small. The tip of the catheter is angled and should always be inserted with the bevel facing up. The IV catheter has an inner metal introducer which is retracted and discarded after placement. The flexible, smooth, outer plastic catheter is what is left in the vessel for infusions. Safety features such as a button to retract the sharp introducer are also part of the IV catheter but may vary by manufacturer. The tourniquet is used to distend the vein, making it easier to see, feel, and access. Apply the tourniquet 5 to 6 inches above the venipuncture site by encircling the arm with the tourniquet, crossing one end over the other, and tucking an end snugly underneath, making sure that the loose ends do not obstruct the venipuncture site. The tourniquet should be applied in such a manner that it can easily be removed with a quick single pull of either end. It should remain in place no longer than two minutes during the procedure and released as soon as the catheter is advanced into place. Tape is used to initially secure the site by using a chevron or crisscross method. The catheter should then be dressed with a transparent dressing allowing for visualization of the site. Additional pieces of tape can then be used to secure the line further. Arm boards or site protectors may also be used.